to get somebody who could sort Matt's out here right there as well. A good <laughs> idea. To... Anyway, Donald Skihan. Yes. If you haven't heard of him, you will because he is the Emerald Isle's hottest property. <laughs> all, all well, thank you very stuff. much. <laughs> Donald's story is absolutely amazing, actually, because Donald tried to enter for Ireland in the. Ah, here we're not going there. Eh? No, 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 no. But no, it's not that he wasn't any good, but he was beaten by a turkey in the Eurovision Song Contest. I'm sure you know that he's a famous turkey. He's a very famous, no normal turkey. No. <laughs> but you could have. I mean, you could have had boy band ambitions before you. Yes, but it's terrible that any time I do something else, it always comes back to being beaten by a turkey. Yeah. You know. Yes. You don't don't live that down very easily. Now how you've got to prepare. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You could get the sea roofs. Yeah. Yes. So this is a lovely Irish seafood chowder. Irish seafood chowder, yes. It's and the, absolutely and the thing delicious. that's different about this is Donal actually sings as he's making it. So <laughs> do you, do you really want to go there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I promised I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, I'm making an Irish seafood chowder and, you know, it's not the summer yet. Everyone wants it to be, but we, I think we're in the mood for a little bit of it. freezing. Uh, yeah, yeah, heartwarming stuff. There's still room for it. Now, it's very, very easy to make. and um, You do need to kind of get a nice selection of fish. I have a smoked haddock here, and if you don't like smoky fish, you don't have to use it. This is easy and adaptable. So, um, and like a lot of my recipes, they are easy and adaptable. A bit of flavour and a bit of smoked haddock. Well, I love smoked fish. Well, yeah. I love smoked fish, but some people don't, so leave it out if you don't want it. I've got smoked, fi uh, smoked haddock, I've got cod, I've got salmon, and a bit of mussels, a few mussels there as well, if you want prawns, any other shellfish go nicely people there. People are a bit nervous about mussels sometimes, aren't they? Because the whole open, closed well, yes, thing should the, the tip that you need to remember is that if they're open, don't put them in. Yeah. If they're closed, you put them in. And if you, if they're, when you've cooked them, this is all very yeah. confusing. When no, no, it's not. Yeah, when okay. But when you've cooked them, they should open. They should open. And if they haven't if they opened, haven't, don't locked. try and open them. Stick them in the yes. bin and you're sorted. Okay. Now, um, to start this off, I've sautéed off some onions um, for about three or four minutes until they're nice and golden. Then I've added in a little bit of pancetta. Mm. Um, which just adds that really nice salty kick to it and it's all about building the flavours of these yeah. soups um, and then obviously I've added in some uh, thyme and some bay leaf just to get that nice herby mix and then some potatoes and I'm cooking the potatoes until they're firm but uh, tender so at this point that's all you have to do and then just add so that's your cook, base that's your base yeah. your base of your soup you cook your potatoes before you put it in that stock no it's cooking in, in the fish stock yeah right. there's fish stock in there as well um, and now you can make your own fish stock with some um, fish bones but to be honest it's just as easy to buy some stock cubes they're an easy store cupboard ingredient and that's what it's all about making life that little bit more easy so I'm just going to add in the fish where did and you learn to cook then? Did your mum teach you? Or it's all home mother? cooked. Yeah, my mum is uh, big into the cooking. Um, obviously, that was where I learned. And um, my aunt is a food stylist, Erica Ryan, in, in Ireland. So um, I would have kind of learned through all that sort of uh, yeah, growing up. Yeah, yeah, and my mom, my parents actually own a fruit and vegetable distribution company called Fresh Cut Foods in Dublin. So yeah, um, fresh fruit and so vegetables. It's all kind of in the family. Always, always, yeah. So I'll let that cook right, cook down. And if we move it over here, this is it nicely cooked through. How um, long would that take? How long take? the fish? Yeah, Maybe, about five minutes, it really cooks quickly. Um, and at this point, I've taken it, you know, take it off the heat, let it cool down, and then add your cream. Because if you obviously, if you add your cream when it's still hot, uh, you're just going to end you up see, with You say it obviously, Daniel, but Eamon wouldn't know that. Well, this is it. Well, I say obviously. Does know, it's just reminded me our next guest is Matt Cardle. <laughs> Just, uh, <laughs> just reminded me there. Matt Cardle coming on. It took me a few moments yeah, just yeah, to get just that the there. <laughs> so we'll let that cook. Um, now, while this is, I'm not going to serve this straight, to you, uh, straight away to you. We're going to move back over here. Oh, no go, fun. I know, I'm sorry. We have to wait, you know. Patience is a virtue. Now, to go alongside this, I'm going to make some Irish soda bread. Now, can I just say, I don't know if you heard I earlier, did. Because Aidan said that's <laughs> not soda bread. Soda bread's white. He's, so he, the, the soda bread they have in Northern Ireland yeah. is white, and wheaten bread is the brown. Well, this is where we differ, I think, Eamon. Yeah. I'm sorry to tell you that. Well... <laughs> what can I say? Even We've got it right and you haven't. Let's not, that's, that's but let's not go there. Well, uh, maybe Matt in the Hub is getting any reaction to what is soda bread, what yeah. we know as soda bread in Belfast and what uh, is soda bread Well, if this is Dublin. the brown one, I know I like it. Yeah. Whether good. it's soda or wheat, okay. and I don't really yeah, care. It's good, it's good. Well, this, um, if, to be honest now, normally uh, the flavour I would be a lot thicker and it's, it is kind of a really rustic bread. And it's the beauty of this is that it's really, really quick to make. It's four, four ingredients, uh, five ingredients. There's bicarb of soda going in here and um, there's a pinch of salt what going. type of flour is that down and um, whole wheat flour whole wheat okay um, and uh, where's my uh, there's, there's sugar in here already okay, okay. Yeah. so all it is then is just mixing in some buttermilk and now I could when I was in shopping in, you can't get it in can you not get it no. in you can, you can but it's, it's not probably as easy it's not as, as easy it would okay. be in Ireland yes. my okay. mother was saying yes she said lovely dinner and she had a glass of buttermilk with it oh, oh and, Christ okay <laughs> but, but I 
I just realised how, since I've come to England, I don't get things like this anymore. You don't, you don't, <laughs> don't look at me say, you say that. You're quite capable of getting yourself a glass of You want to see the moustache that gives you. So, a big creamy one. Jesus. It does, doesn't it? I don't, I don't know if this is daytime television at all. Um, so anyway, get your buttermilk in there, mix it through, and you should be left with a nice kind of sticky mixture. And once you do, you're just forming rolls like that into the... Into and do you need to let this rise with it? Because no, it's that's the beauty of it. Right. It's the bicarbonate soda that will uh, will make it rise. Okay. So make little balls, stick them on the stick them on your baking tray into the oven, 200 degrees Celsius, until they've risen and they're nicely browned. And now, you had some oats here. Do you put those in the yes. Yes. Extra crunch. Some oats on top just to serve it very nice and okay. they'll go nice and golden. Now I do have one or two here which are ready to go, so maybe we'll just serve up. Okay. Do you like a taste of these? Let's put, I'm going to tidy up if you don't Thank want you very much. Much. Thank you very much. Because I have um, to do it on my own at home. Of okay. Course. Maybe I'll just would you like a little bit of butter yeah, on that? Yeah, yeah. And then I'll just um, and you've got a book, uh, you've got your first cookery book, I think, isn't it, coming out? Is it Kitchen Hero? Kitchen Hero, yes, it's out at the end of this month, and it's available on Amazon at the moment for pre-order. Do you have a Kitchen Hero? I have a Kitchen Hero, and that is my mother. Yeah. Yeah. You have to, the mammy's cooking. Right on. But although, although we're looking at an Irish dish here, um, yeah. you're not restricted by... Irish. Food. Oh, absolutely not. The book is full of kind of all sorts of recipes, really easy stuff using store cupboard ingredients. I'm just going to grab some salmon. Um, I have a little bit of smoked salmon just to serve on top. Cool. That well, do you, oh, you put oh, smoked salmon. A little salmon bit on of top. smoked salmon, and it's just to add another kind of flavour dimension. Bit of colour. A little bit of colour and a little bit of parsley in there as well, and that will be absolutely delicious. Very nice. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Very much. Beautiful. Yeah, dig in. Mm -hmm. I love the creaminess of chowder. Yeah, it's very nice. Because you always think the chowder has sweet corn, but it's... Well, it's an, this is an Irish seafood chowder. Yeah, yeah that would be an American one. <laughs> yeah. Be more of us, whatever it is. We all think of chowder with... Oh, yeah. That's lovely. Do you like it? That's yeah. beautiful. And a nice bit of cold smoked salmon just adds another kind of dimension to it. And you know, I know that that sounds mad, but it's not too fishy. It's, no, it's, it's not. Delicate, no, and then the smoked fish always gives it another flavour as well. So there's lots of lots of things going on in there for a nice mouth. Well, I hope your mum's watching. I oh, certainly You've done her proud today. She's probably in work. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, don't forget Donald's uh, thanks, recipe Joel. will be on our Thank website. Thanks for having me. Uh, if you missed any there, quite a lot of ingredients gone into that, of course. So all on our website, or if you're a Sky viewer, you can press your red button right now. Um, mm. Right after the break, we were talking Matt Cardle, of course, <laughs> the new pop king of Essex and the X Factor winner. And uh, we're going to find out if Matt Johnson has reigned supreme with yeah. his hula hoop. Has he, he been able well. to master that? Find out after this very short break.